Hi guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. Today I have a bag video for you. And again, this was not a coach bag. So recently I did um, a Marc Jacobs video. I don't know, it's, I guess it's been a couple of months of the tote bag style. And I did a review, um, well I first did an unboxing because I got kind of three at once. So I did like a collection haul. Um, but then I also did a review on the leather version, which was the mini size that I got. Um, um, and then I will be doing a review on the other two sizes um, definitely very soon. Today I have something that is not from Coach. You guys know if you watch my channel for a while that I've been usually loving Coach bags. It's just something I've gravitated towards. Um, and then the Marc Jacobs was kind of like a different thing for me. But today I have a couple bags and I'm going to show you one that I'm keeping and one that I am unfortunately having to return. Um, but these are from Cole Haan, which is a brand that I have never really thought of before or been attracted to. It's just like not on my radar at all. I'm kind of surprised about this bag, but I'm going to show you why I picked this and um, what drew me to it and what makes it a little bit different, I think, from a lot of other bags. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the bag, and I believe there are a couple versions of this bag, but the like original version would be the Kulhan Grand Ambition Bucket Bag. This one was also called a bucket bag, and I believe it was maybe more of their outlet version, although I don't think so, because I saw this on their regular website, um, and it was exactly the same price as the Grand Ambitions. The only difference with the Grand Ambition that I can see at all um, is that it has a little hang tag here, little like keychain, key fob thing, and then it has, um, in addition to this little pull like toggle, um, thing that you kind of cinch closed. It also had this little kind of strap hanging off the side. Those were the only things that I could see that were different about it. The inside pocket structure, the structure of the actual bag, every other detail about it down to a T is exactly the same. And like I said, it was the same price on the website. Since that time, it's been removed, so I don't know if they sold out of it or what was going on, um, but the Grand Ambition bag is actually still available. So I will link that one if you're interested in this bag because, like I said, they're very similar, but for that one or two little small details. But I have never owned a bucket bag before because I always feel like while I love the kind of casual slouchy look of them, it never would work for me practically because I like to have things organized. Even if I have a huge open tote bag, I want to have like little pouches in there to organize everything or a tote organizer on the bottom or something like that. I just hate the thought of everything kind of flying around and being not secure in the bag where it could just like come out. I just, I don't know. I'm not that kind of person. I like to have a little more like order. So when I saw this, I was really intrigued because although it has that bucket bag style, um, it has a lot of structure to it, which is weird, but I'm going to show you why um, it has those different details. So it does have this pull in the middle that you can pull open or closed, um, but you don't have to use that. Like it, there are ways to close it without that, but it is a functional, you know, purposeful thing. So I do appreciate that. It has short handles right here, so it's not something you're going to be able to carry on your shoulder with these, but you can carry it on the crook of your arm or, you know, you can hold it like that. So it does have that. It has a long crossbody shoulder strap and it's attached here on these circle rings and it does have the clips that come on and off so you can detach it if you wanted to. It does have an adjustable strap so right here you have this little button that you can push in and out of these spots and it has I believe oh several two four six eight nine looks like nine different adjustments so you can make those adjustments and then you have a little place to keep that strap um, from flying around so really like that detail um, it's a light kind of gold it's not like the brightest shiniest gold like compared to this I don't know if you guys can tell the difference but it is a different kind of gold um, but it is definitely a gold and it's really pretty I really like gold and black together and really just like gold hardware in general on my bags because I'm a gold jewelry kind of person for the most part um but let me show you the details of this bag so first off i want to talk about this pocket on the back because it's really cool it's just big enough for a cell phone um, but it goes deep enough for a pretty big cell phone so i have the galaxy 
Note 10 Plus, I believe, and this holds it really well, so it can fit a pretty decent size phone. Um, really appreciate that. It's not something you have to go fussing for your bag, you know, anywhere else. It's just right here on the outside. You can pull it out just really easily. So love that little detail that they thought of. So if you can see, this is what makes this bag so cool, and it's this middle section. This middle section is really structured and really like boxy so it gives the rest of the bag shape so you have the cinched look of a bucket bag on the front but if you turn it around and even to the side you can see that it has a lot more structure than any other bucket bag ever would um, it's got that slouchiness to it which is really pretty but that middle section is what makes it stand up and what makes it like have that kind of boxier structure that I actually really love. On the inside, you have a kind of canvas lining. It says it's water resistant on the website, so haven't tested that, but that would be awesome if that's the case. But on the inside of this first section, you have a big pocket here on the back, which is really nice, and it has a magnetic closure right there on this little tiny button. Um, so you don't have to fiddle with a little button. It's just really easy to get to. And then it has two slip pockets right here on the front of that. And then you have that huge open compartment there. You can really fit a decent amount in here. And I'm doing this video because I cannot wait to switch into this bag, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like first. So in this middle section, you have a pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom. So that's what it looks like and just really simple. It zips closed so you can keep, you know, your wallet and things like that that you really want to keep secure in this section. Love that detail. I think that's really nice. And then in the back, you have a similar structure as the front. So you have that wide open compartment. Instead of that snap pocket, you're going to have a zip pocket right there. And then you have another two compartments right here. So I love that it also has a lot of different sections, compartments for things, because that's kind of person I am. And so this gives me that look of a bucket bag, but it's still being really structured. Um, it's just perfect for me. It does say the Cole Haan Grand Series right there. Um, has that little leather tag. And this is a pebbled leather. And then both of these sections magnet shut with these little magnet snaps. So really convenient. It's going to stay very secure like that, which I love. I think that's really nice. And then you can cinch it in here and have that kind of bucket bag look. So it really is a bucket bag. I mean, it does have those wide open spaces, but it has plenty of pockets and compartments that you can really put exactly things where you want them to be. And I love that so much. Um, so yeah, I think it's really versatile between the two different handles, which you could wear this easily as a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. I think a crossbody with this style is going to look really cool, so I'm excited to wear it like that. But I can't find anything I don't love about this bag. I think it's perfect. Um, it has rubberized feet here on the bottom, so they're not even leather feet. They're rubberized feet, which is perfect because they're not going to wear away. and It's going to stay really nice and protect the bag from the floor. Um, I just think it's awesome. I think it's really cute. It's a definitely different style for me. This is one of the biggest bags I own as well. Although let me show you what it looks like next to the Marc Jacobs tote because I've recently been using that one. This is the small size. There is a mini size, which I had, and then a large size, which is like a full on big tote bag kind of size. Um, and I have all three in that video um, if you guys want to check that out. I will be doing a review on this size soon, um, but I have been using that bag for a while. I love it. It's perfect. Um, but this bag is about the same size as you can see, but this one is a smidge taller. Maybe not. Maybe they're about the same size um, height wise. They definitely have the same amount of storage space, I feel like, and what's funny is that they even have the same kind of handle. You have those short top handles right there, and then you have the long crossbody or shoulder strap that's adjustable. It's funny that those are kind of similar, even though they're totally different bags. I love this bag. I think it's beautiful, and I am really excited to use it. Um, I would say it's on the heavier side, but it is a huge bag, and it is a nice, like, pebbled leather, so so it's going to be heavier and I'm still fine with it, especially wearing it um, as a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. It's not going to bother me. So really glad I got this one and let me show you the other one and why I am not keeping it. 
So this is the other one and this is a shame because I bought both of these second hand and the black bag was fine but it came with absolutely no extras. It was just the bag and that's you know perfectly fine but this one did come with this dust bag. It came with the little Kohlhan tag. Um, this is what it looks like and then this has a price um, crossed out so that makes me wonder if this person purchased it at an outlet um, because you can see that price was removed there um, but it does have like the information and care instructions things like that in the inside so had the tag um, this was said to only have been used twice but I'm going to show you why that's probably not the case um, this is the color that I really wanted. I was looking at this bag forever. The black bag was really inexpensive compared to the new one um, and just in general and so I went for it because I wanted to see if I would even like the style and I do. Um, I found this one, was so excited for this, so excited because I love this color of bag and I really don't think I have um, a bag that's this big in this color. I can think of one other bag in this color and it's a lot smaller. It's my Coach Dreamer bag, which I absolutely love. I have that one in black and brown as well. Um, but it's a just totally different bag. So I was so excited to get this. I still didn't want to spend full price because it's just a lot of money. Um, but I found this one and was so thrilled. There are a lot of flaws with this bag. Um, one of the first that I noticed was right here. There's a discoloring. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it is pretty obvious. Um, there's also a lot of wear. So this was said that it was used twice. And if that's the case, then a bag should not look like that. So on the corners, you see issues there, which really makes me sad. And then on this side, there was like this little weird um, color there on the seam um, and I just I don't know there were a lot of little things like that that I just felt if I'm gonna be spending this much money for a bag um, even if it's used and even if it's not you know crazy expensive in the grand scheme of things it should really be in perfect condition I mean if that's what they said it was um, which they did so really sad about that I just found another place here with a lot of wear I don't know if you can see that but it's worn off right there on the leather and that kind of makes me worry because if it's either not been used long and this was already the damage done to it then I don't know how well it would last so anyway I will not be keeping this because of all of those issues but if they didn't have those issues I would definitely keep it with the black bag, even if the corners did get scuffed up, they have a black polish that is meant for leather that I've used on other black bags and it works phenomenally. Um, I'll link that below if you're interested. But with brown, it's much harder because there are so many shades of brown. You can't just apply a brown dye to this and it work like you could with a black bag. So it's really going to be hard to fix those issues and that's why I ultimately decided that it wasn't worth keeping. Um, but let me show you this really quick. So obviously it's the same structure um, inside and out, but I just want to show you what the inside looks like because it is a different color um, than the black bag. This is what the inside looks like there. So it's kind of a kind of light cream taupey color and I mean it is just perfect. I love everything about this bag. And like I said, were it not for those flaws, I'd be keeping it in a heartbeat. She even had some um, rolled up tissue paper in there, which made me think that it was probably um, not used too much or at least stored well. Another strange thing, a lot of times Poshmark sellers will do this, um, which I think in general is a great thing. They will leave like little extras um, in a purchase probably to get good reviews and I would think it probably would work. But in this case, this was an unsealed um, lipstick. And you can see this lipstick, first of all, is a horrible purple color that I would never wear, but also it's used. So a used tube of lipstick inside a used bag. That's a bit too gross for me. Um, I didn't comment on that part when I said that I needed to return it. I just stuck to the facts that the bag was damaged. Um, but don't do that guys. If you ever sell on Poshmark or Mercari, do not leave a used lipstick in your bag, especially in the last two years. It's probably not a great idea, but it's just generally not a great idea. 
So that was in there, kind of turned me off a little bit more. Um, obviously had no factor in me keeping the bag or not, but it's gorgeous. I want to keep it so badly and I'm going to be stocking Poshmark and Mercari for this exact bag again, but hopefully um, without all of the damaged areas and hopefully at just as good of a price. That makes me sad because it was a really good price, but it still is more money than I need to spend on a damaged bag. So just decided that it's better if I don't keep this one. So these are my two bucket bags from Cole Haan. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. They're definitely larger bags, but I just think they are so cute. Bucket bags are so popular right now. And I just really wanted to get in on that trend. And this is a perfect way for somebody who likes more structure to do that. So really excited to use this one. Sad to return this one, but I'll be hunting to see if I can find another one like it. Um, because I think they are beautiful bags. Really excited for them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I make lots of bag videos, um, coach and otherwise, and I would love to have you here on the channel with me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.